Someone once said that sculpture of any kind, like these intricate wooden carvings, isn't really that difficult. You simply chip or carve away the parts that are not part of what you're trying to create. Sounds pretty easy, right? But it might take decades of practice to learn how to do it. And that's why you'll find these folks here at Irving's Heritage Senior Center every Tuesday morning carving and sculpting wood together, showing their creations, instructing each other, and maybe most important, having a good time. We all have good camaraderie, uh, just talking about our lives and then joking and get your mind off of life in general. You can forget about it for a while. Jean Priestley came by her interest in wood carving from her grandfather. It was something she'd always wanted to learn, and as you can see here, learn she did. But for her too, it's really all about the group. We laugh and we talk about old times and you know, it's just a fun group. And even if I didn't want to call them, I think I'd come up here and visit. <laughs> it's a group that has its own dynamic for sure. Only the gathering time and place are set. There's not an instructor anymore because the whole group is an instructor. Well, it's not really a class. Yeah, it's it's just like a group. Gr yeah, it's a group of us who like to carve. And if somebody comes in and wants to learn, well, any one or all of us will help them. There's incredible talent and skill here. Jean's love of creating small items and animals has yielded these examples over the years. And Bob recalls one of his most challenging pieces. It was a small piece of wood, probably smaller than this, uh, and uh, it was a, uh, I made a letter opener out of it and it has uh, three or four leaves that are three dimensional carved on it. And uh, of course my wife's already claimed it, so it's not mine anymore. The tools of wood carving are pretty simple and few. Specialized knives that can be expensive, but really need only be sharp and sturdy in the grip of steady hands. Those tools, a choice piece of wood, usually basswood, and an idea can result in a display of collected work like this. The rough shaping at the beginning of a project can really take a toll on the hands, so wood carving does require some stamina, especially for an ambitious project like this, designed by one of the group's driven masters. When people say, why do you do it? You know, and the why is not the important thing. The fact of the matter is, I cannot not do it. Jody Webb carves every single day, and over 25 years, the projects are ever more challenging. Uh, you can say that. <laughs> While Jody talks about his carvings early stages, how about a sneaky jump forward in time to see how it really turns out? Just look at that. It's going to be every bit the masterpiece the wood carving group has come to expect from it. The members all have their own special talents and specialties, but a common love for wood carving and its special place in their lives is really the bottom line for all of them. I do it for me. And I've, I've had people ask if I would carve something if they paid me and I don't I don't do that. I I don't do it for money, I do it for pleasure. And if I want to carve it, I'll carve it. And if I don't, I don't. <laughs> Tony Cornett for City Source.